Good afternoon. Today we are going to talk a bit about the safety committee. The safety committee is a very important tool that we can use within an organization to ensure the health and safety of its employees. The employees being everybody from the lowest paid individual right up to management and everybody within this organization must abide to the health and safety rules that the company has. There's, there's no excuses. But the safety committee's prime role is to make sure that all health and safety related items and discussions and procedures are implemented, monitored and followed up. And if it's necessary, they need to change. But how will this Health and Safety Committee work? The best way is to, to set up the basic rules and procedure of how the Health and Safety Committee will work. Is to write a working written constitution. This constitution will highlight what they will do and how they will manage the health the safety and the welfare of the employees and also in the same breath taking care of the environment. The constitution should include all purposes and objectives that need to be met. The constitution must list all the members and how they will be chosen. The constitution will highlight will show the meeting arrangements and they will also in this constitution highlight or write down how the arrangements will be done in reporting the outcomes of the meetings. Memberships. There is no correct number of people required for the safety committee. It can be a handful of maybe six people or in a bigger company it can be multiple people, a lot of people. In some cases it would be representatives of each department and maybe also include people that's working out in the field People that's not in the office or in the workshop in the warehouse on a day-to-day -day basis, because they have to also be safe in what they do. They're on the roads, they work in environments, there is all types of natural obstacles, <laughs> snakes, name it, bad roads. So the membership needs to be, be chosen by the employees, because the members of the safety committee represent the employees. Management of the company has the authority to consider and review recommendations of members to the safety committee. The employee representatives are either appointed by a trade union or elected by the workforce or a combination of both. Representatives uh, can also be of people, of representatives of, of contractors, contractors that's working on site. They need to attend the safety committee meetings. And then there's co-opted people, like maybe the company has a company doctor or health and safety advisor or, or any other type of specialist. Um, and it may be necessary while they're on site or delivering a service to the company to be part of the safety committee meetings.
and then the frequency of the meetings. The ideal is to have it maybe every quarter, every three months, but it all depends on the circumstances of the company and, in, and what's happening in the, in the company. It may be that we're setting out on a new health and safety approach, then it may be necessary to meet on a regular basis. Or it might be that there's been a serious accident and it necess necessitates a meeting. Then it can happen as required. The meeting frequency can also be determined by the volume of the business, the size and the spread of the workforce, and the type of work done in the workplace and the associated risks. And then also if there's specific issues that need to be discussed or relevant factors that need to be taken into consideration. The constitution should clearly indicate how regular the meetings will take place. The responsibilities of the committee. That's a very, very important role of the committee, is their responsibilities. Their responsibilities make it as if this committee is a success or not. The committee must keep records of all accidents, near misses, ill health, sickness and absentees. The committee is also responsible for accident investigations and the subsequent actions that needs to be taken. The committee is also responsible for inspections of the workplace by enforcing authorities, management or employee health and safety representatives to do certain actions. The safety committee is also responsible for risk assessments. The safety committee is also responsible to arrange health and safety training and they must also be able to write and enforce emergency procedures and if there's any changes in the workplace what risks are there towards the health, safety and the welfare of the employees and for that matter the environment but it's important that the safety committee look at the facts in an impartial way they must consider the precautions that might have to be taken. They must recommend appropriate actions and monitor the progress of the implementation of the health and safety interventions. Decision making. The committee can be powerful in making improvements in the workplace. When considering issues, the committee should discuss if actions is needed, recommend agreed actions, record a discussion and the actions in the minutes of the meeting, and those minutes should be accessible to the whole workforce. Follow up on these actions and review them later. And if they are reviewed, it is important to see whether they are successful or not. And if they are not successful, what must be done to make them successful? It's also very important that there's very good communication between the members of the safety committee.
and the resources. It is important for the safety committee that they prepare themselves for the meetings. It's important not to leave it until the last moment and then suddenly rush through it because then it has no value. It's also important that the members, when attending a meeting, they are punctual because they lead by example. The committee members must also have access to information for the purpose of discussion during the meetings. Training. Training is important. That's a wonderful resource to have. Of course, during training you will have access to documentations and ideas and examples which can be impl implemented in the, in the uh, company and in the factory. Being a member of the Health and Safety Committee is a very, very important function. It doesn't mean that you will receive extra remuneration, but also management must allow representatives representatives of the committee meeting, of the safety committee, to be able to prepare for what they are supposed to do during the safety committee meetings. I hope this is of value to you and I hope that you learn from this and if there's any questions please feel free to contact me.